What's going on YouTube? Just Jake and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new Weenie Izzy Classic. It hasn't been released in GTA as of yet, because um, I am recording this video on the 16th of April. Uh, so I'm, I believe this is supposed to be released on the 17th of April. So um, this video is going to come out on the 17th. So by the time I've released this video, the Weenie Izzy Classic should be in the game. Um, not 100% sure on the price because obviously I can't check because it's not officially released but I believe it's going to be $380,000 and as you can see as stock it looks fucking amazing and I love the way it sounds as well so as you pull into LS Customs guys you will see the Weenie Izzy Classic is in the compact category and straight off the bat you can see that Franklin looks fucking massive in this car um, but we're going to start this build with 100% body armor as always and we're going to go to the bodywork so we've got the bodywork trim which is pretty cool I think we're going to stay classic with this car um, so I don't think I'm going to change any of this chrome out because obviously you can make it more like a rally version if you would like um, but I'm just going to stay chrome for this because I actually really dig it then we're going to go to the brakes we're going to get the race brakes for the bumper front bumper like I said already with the trim I'm going to stay classic with this so um, I'm not going to purchase any of these but I'm going to quickly show you them anyway um, so we've got the, the street splitter I'm not a massive fan of that it looks kind of weird you know it doesn't look like it's supposed to be there and uh, again this actually looks pretty cool I think you can make some nice street builds with that um, it does look a bit odd on a mini but you know uh, it is what it is and you can I reckon you can make some nice mini additions or weenie easy additions to this to this car so you can make loads of different types of this car so you can have the classic version you can have a street version you can have a rally version you can have a sticker bomb version so it's cool man i love the customizations on this vehicle at the minute but like i said we're staying classic for this again we're going to show you these um, we might go with them ones actually with the mud guards that are pretty cool because we do keep the classic rear bumper on that but then we've got the addition of the mud guards and we've got the carbon version with the mud guards as well and then we've got a rear diffuser and then the same with the mud guards um, but yeah we're gonna we're just gonna stay classic with the mud guards then we're gonna go to the chassis um, oh so this is where you're gonna be able to get your your rally lights so we've got the Toro lights the primary covers for them and then secondary colors for them the carbon oh the street interior okay uh, it says carbon because the dash has changed out, the steering wheel's changed, and we've got carbon on the back of the seats. And again, we've got the sticker bomb version, so we've got sticky bombs on sticky bombs. <laughs> we've got sticker bombs on the back of the seats, sticker bomb on the dashboard, and then we've got the race stripped interior. That looks insane. That looks fucking pretty awesome, man. But for now, I think we're just gonna stay. I don't really want to stay stock again, but then again, I do, because obviously that's quite a unique interior we've got there. Um, we don't tend to see many seats like that in any other vehicle in the game because you know that a lot of vehicles just have a recycled interior so it's nice to see an actual unique interior to a vehicle um, but because I've stayed stock with everything else I, I kind of want to change it but then I don't really want bucket seats because then it I don't know should we make it like a classic racer so it's classic on the outside racer on the inside <laughs> Um, yeah, what the fuck not, man. I want to change it up a little bit. I don't want it to look exactly the same as what it was when I pulled it in. So we're going to go with a stripped race interior. Then we're going to go to the engine. We're going to get a level four with the exhausts. At the minute, we've got a little puny exhaust down there. The bottom left poking out. Oh, my God. And then you've got coming out of the lights. What the fuck? We're staying clear of them. Uh, the boot cuts actually look quite good. Don't mind them ones. Um, yeah, so they're all pretty cool. We've got side exits. Uh, not a massive fan of them but I'm not really whoa oh my word that is uh, that's different that's, that's not that's, that is actually pretty cool it's a shame about the carbon the carbon boot though because it would be nice if it was a more of a colour coded one because I might have gone for it um, but because it is carbon I, I think I'm going to steer clear we'll go to tw the twin boot cut exhaust then we're going to go to the fenders Oh, cool. So they're the, the wheel arches which are changing. We are going to change these out. Uh, so they're all pretty much the same. Just primary carbon, then a the sticker bomb. Sweet. So we get some bolt-ons as well. That's quite nice. Nice addition. Same again. We've got the secondary carbon. Then we've got the sticker bomb. These ones, the wider ones, I'm not a massive fan of them because they flare out a little bit too much of my liking at the bottom. Uh, so I think we're going to steer clear of them. I think these ones are probably the best ones. They suit the nicest. So I'm going to go with the primary street arches. Then we're going to go to the grill. Uh, stock grill looks pretty cool. That looks nice. The stripped down grill, I actually really like that. The carbon looks good. So these all look pretty good as well. Except I'm not sure about that one. I'm not sure about that one at all. 
looks a bit weird that looks a bit strange as well so I'm not a massive fan of the last couple of um, additions but these ones look good you know you can get them in carbon or in chrome if you want to stay stock I think I'm going to go with the stripped down grill man that actually looks really good so yeah we're going to go with that next we're going to go to the hood so we can remove it all together oh my god what the fuck <laughs> um, yeah the engine looks pretty good but the textures around it the engine bay looks kind of shoddy in my opinion so uh, I think we're going to steer clear of that one that's quite a nice addition the secondary hood so if you did want to make like a Mr. Bean um, build on this you could uh, quite easily actually with the secondary colour there the carbon version sticker bomb version we've got a trend going that's actually quite nice the, the pyramid grill hood like I said we're going to stay classic racer with this so that's probably I don't know it's probably the, the winner so far they're okay not nothing to write home about they're still nice though man it's, it's good to have all these different options that's quite good but it's a bit too busy for my liking that looks just insane oh my word <laughs> what yeah there's some crazy options as you get further down the list but um, you know they're still pretty cool they're, they're different at least um, but my fa my favourite was this one wasn't it? yeah the, the pyramid grill hood I think that was the nicest looking one so we'll go, go with that then we'll go to the lights headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights so next we've got the option for the liveries so we've got the, the weenie classic the classic weenie looks pretty cool you know nothing too extravagant but it looks good that actually looks really nice as well suits the car really really well also like that one that's pretty sweet as well especially if we're going for that racer look because it's the performance weenie track day I'm not sure if we're going to go over track day one and then they just go a little bit nuts with the liveries from now with all the sponsors and the crazy extravagant liveries and stuff and it's nice we get a, an option to rust it out as well I mean that's not always my cup of tea but it's nice that the options there so I, th I think my favourite was probably this performance weenie so we're going to go with that bad boy right so next guys we are going to go to the plates because as you can see Rockstar have added a nice little touch to this weenie is the um, a little callback to obviously a UK European plate which is like a long rectangular shape it's a bit of a shame that they haven't gone the same route with um, the rear plate because you've got a US plate at the back and a European plate at the front so it's a bit of a contradiction which is a bit weird so we are going to go into the plates just to change it up a little because as you can see on the US plate we've got an italic San Andreas Royton and then we've got two logos either side of that Royton so I'm just going to go with a blue on white three it symbolizes it a little bit um, so it's, le it's less busy less going on and I think uh, that matches then the front plate a little bit nicer. So next we're going to go to the respray. We're going to go primary colour. We're going to stay classic because we do have a livery. And I don't want a weird metallic shine on the livery. And I'm feeling maybe like a grey. That actually looks really good. I'm actually really digging the grey man. The black steel. That looks awesome. Uh, maybe even a silver to lighten up a little bit. But then we do have that white in the livery. So I think... Um, that disappearing doesn't benefit the car that much so I, th I think I was right in thinking maybe black steel or maybe dark steel one of these two um, not really sure on what one I think cause, yeah because black's way too dark man I'm, I'm pretty yeah I thought I'm gonna go with the dark steel man that looks fucking pretty sweet so next we've got the secondary color we're also gonna go into classic and we are gonna go and purchase the same color in dark steel then we do get the option to change the trim color uh, we do have a bluish silver in it which is you know that's different I think maybe just going with the graphite though just darken it up a little bit because we've got a lot of greys and silvers going on at the minute even though they look pretty cool um, I think maybe going to graphite is probably the best way to go so yeah we're going to go graphite for the trim color then we're going to go to the roof and we've got secondary roof obviously it just changes the color then we've got a carbon wow <laughs> wood vinyl effect oh my god the sticker bomb standard the checkerboard uh, the mosaic roof and that's it so nothing spectacular for the roof I was kind of hoping that we'd get a union jack um, but we don't unfortunately so we're just going to stay stock for the roof then we've got the side skirts so we've got a primary lip skirt which I think actually looks really nice with uh, the flared arches that we've got at the minute then we've got the secondary version, the carbon version, the stick bomb version, and then more of like a street version, but that'd go with the lower lower level um, 
front bumper that we've got and then we've got the carbon and the stick bomb version of that as well but i think the primary lip skirt is probably the best one so we're gonna go with that bad boy then we've got the spoilers now a spoiler on a mini is um always a bit of a a dodgy <laughs> a, do a dodgy um look because i don't think they tend to suit them um so in the way of a roof rack it does kind of suit that and we'd get a traction bonus weirdly enough from a roof rack but we're not going to have a roof rack because it just doesn't suit the type of vehicle that we're trying to build. We're trying to build like a, a, a you know classic racer. So we don't want a roof rack. The one with the surfboard's pretty cool. The luggage looks okay. The textures on that front bag is a bit fucking dodgy. I'm not, I'm not a massive fan of that. Um, then we've got the, the dovetail. The dovetail would actually be okay if it was color coded. Not a massive fan because it's the, a, a black rubber looking thing. Um, yeah, so that's a bit disappointing. Uh, we've got the carbon. So we get these two options, but we don't get a, a primary or a, or a secondary color version, which is really weird considering every other fucking part of the car, you get a primary and a secondary color version of it. It's just strange. The mind boggles Rockstar, Rockstar Logic, that one. Uh, but yeah, then we get this weird fucking carbon low level spoiler. That looks fucking horrible. And oh my word. And then we've got these fucking stupid big wings. They just look ridiculous, man. Do we want the added traction bonus that much to fucking have a dovetail on there though? I mean, I think it looks better without, so we're going to stay none. Then we're going to go to the suspension. We're going to get the sport suspension, transmission, we're going to get a race transmission and turbo tuning. Now for the wheels, guys, we're going to go into wheel typing into... So we're going to go with the sports rims this time, and if you didn't know already, I have got a replacement mod in place for my sports wheels and my high-end wheels. So we get real-life wheels in the game. And we'll go probably go for some deep dish on um, on these wheels. They actually look really good. The BBS, I like them. Uh, wow, they're fucking proper deep dish, man. But as you can see, the the names of the wheels are are the same. It's just the actual textures of the wheels look completely different, which is really nice, man. Because we've got really wide, thick wheels now. Oh my word, I've come across these. Not sure what they're actually called in real life, but on this they're called Venom and uh, I'm really digging them so I'm going to go with them bad boys then for the wheel colour we are going to change them to we're going to go carbon black for that and for the tyres whilst we're here we're going to go and purchase the bulletproof tyres and to finish off the build as always we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint so there you go my bros there is my build on the brand new weenie izzy classic and hopefully by the time this video is released it is already available in GTA Online and <laughs> it just looks amazing I fucking love this vehicle it looks so close to the the Mini Cooper in real life, it is not even funny. Let's get rid of this rain. What the fuck is going on here? I want it extra sunny. Yeah, fuck off, man. The whole point of having a fucking trainer menu, man. We can get rid of that rain, and it's awesome. Uh, what is the time? Uh, backwards. We want to keep it at midday, so it's at its, the light is at its best. Yeah, there, there we go. Stop the rain. Made it extra sunny, and we'll change the time. And yeah, like I was saying, man, this is so close to the Mini Cooper in real life. It's, it's ridiculous. It just looks awesome. Especially with them real life wheels on there as well now with the deep dish. It looks fucking so cool because it gives you a wider a wider wheel. And it's got a little bit of a camber going on there as well, which is pretty cool. Let's have a little drive. Like I said at the beginning, this car sounds amazing. And for the compact class, I think, hope well, I hope it's going to be competitive. Um, but who knows I mean it's only three hundred and eighty thousand dollars I think to purchase and um, I, I don't f feel like there's a a uh, what's the word I'm looking for I don't think there's a um, a reason for you not to buy this it's cheap it's a replica of a fucking classic a perfect replica I might add I mean it's, it's so close to the actual real-life mini like I've said, man, it's, it's ridiculous. It sounds cool. It looks cool. The customizations are second to none. So much customization for it. And it feels all right. It doesn't feel overly slow. It doesn't feel mega fast, though, either, because you've got to remember it is in the compact class. It is front-wheel drive. And um, handling-wise, it actually feels quite nicely. Nicely. It feels quite nice. It can stick into the corners quite nicely. That's what I was going for. Uh, a little bit of wheel spin there from the front wheels. We're going around that bend. But yeah, overall, I think this actually is definitely worth a purchase. I don't see why you wouldn't want to purchase it. Um, because it's, you know, like I said, a replica of a classic. And it is a fucking awesome 
awesome DLC vehicle. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please remember to smash that like. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios. Thank you.